Hello everyone. We are continuing with week 3 exceptions and today I am going to have a look into the problem called grocery set. I have already created solution video for fuel gauge and Phillips and Takaria and from week problem set 0, 1 and 2. If you have not watched those videos, I will share the link in the description box and then you can go and watch and watch those videos. A quick disclaimer before I start this video. This video is only for the educational purposes and I do not encourage plagiarism. With this background, let us see what is the problem statement. The problem statement is that as a programmer, we need to create a file called grocery.py which will prompt the user for items, one item per line until the user inputs control and D. And then we need to output user's grocery list but everything into uppercase Second condition is that sorted alphabetically by item. Third is prefixing each item with the number of times the user has inputted the item. No need to pluralize the items and treat the user's input case insensitively. So in whatever case the user is going to enter, it does it is immaterial. If we come down to here to the demo video, here you can see the user is entering apple, banana. Uh, let me stop it over here here apple then banana then again banana then an ice cream and the output and here the user presses control d and the output is user has entered apple one time so one is the quantity and apple in all uppercase user has entered banana two times fine uh, quantity here is two banana user has entered ice cream one time so one ice cream but everything into ice cream and any further here again if you see here let use tomato tomato so two times tomato then carrot again tomato and here you can see it very well that okay one is carrot lettuce and tomato and everything is sorted alphabetically with this background let us jump into the code spaces i am already here into grocery directory and let us start to write the code here I am going to use the concept of dictionary because dictionary has key value pair <coughs> arrangement and as you can see it over here it is what the user is entering it can very easily be contained or arranged inside a dictionary. If you see CS50 is advising us to use a dictionary. The first thing that I am going to do is that I am going to define an empty dictionary. This is the way how you define an empty dictionary. Then what I am going to do here is that I am going to write while true. Why? Because here I am creating an infinite loop. Uh, till the time user wishes, user can keep entering the items. Then I am using to use the try and accept construct. Because once the user enters control D, we have to stop and that is going to be, be captured using the EOF error. If you see the hints here. Yeah. Note that you can detect when the user has inputted the control D by catching EOF error with a code like this. This is the line that you need to pay attention. Okay. With this, so item is equal to input one more and then I am going to convert everything into upper. This is the way we convert the strings into upper using the upper method just for your information strings have got 47 methods associated with them out of which i have already created a video on 27 methods which are most common frequently used if you i will give the i card ever you can go and watch that video with let us jump ahead now user has entered we have converted it into uppercase now it is time to catch the error except except what except EOF error like this and then we need to break out of the loop once the user presses control D we need to stop now what I am going to say here is that if item is in D here in is the membership check this is the way we check if the item is in a list or a dictionary even in fact for list as well or in dictionary whether it exists or not 
if I just make everything for a comment here up to here for a minute and then here I go let me define this dictionary something like let me pick it up from here only carrot 1 that is 2 and tomato 3 so what I am going to write here is that carrot that is 1 lettuce I think I need to do like this and then here now let's keep it up to only here now I am going to write print carrot in D we are checking here if carrot is in D or not let us try to run this code python grocery dot pi and I should be getting true here true now if I change it to apple now I should be getting false here you see so this is exactly what I am trying to achieve here let's get back to our code let me make it a blank dictionary one more time again okay so from here we we were up to here so, so if item in D if item is in already in D then we need to increase the count of that item by one and how do we do that item and then we can write something like this else if the item is not in the dictionary it means that its count is going to be one if it is not there in already we are done with the creation of the dictionary with the item name as the key and the number of times that item appears as their value now we have to print them for this i am going to use the for loop for i in we can print the dictionary key something like this d key d dot keys oh, sorry it should be keys not key but it has to be in sorted order therefore i am going to use the function called sorted colon here then i am going to print what d the quantity and the item name and that should be it i believe we are good to go let us check grocery.py if i come over here apple banana banana then ice cream apple banana banana ice cream and then here i think they have pressed control d okay let me press also control d here so i am getting one apple two banana one ice cream everything into uppercase here the same thing let us move forward again it is showing me lettuce tomato tomato to carrot tomato and then they have pressed control d so let let me put like this clear the terminal the first one was lettuce tomato then one more time tomato then carrot carrot and then again i believe it is tomato and then control d one carrot one lettuce and three tomato which is matching with our output area yeah so everything is fine now let me see if there is anything here mango or strawberry okay okay let me check it here mango and then a strawberry clear the terminal run the program mango go straw berry and then control d one one each now i think we should can jump directly to check the cs and do the cs50 checks clear paste it let it run connecting authentication authenticating verifying preparing uploading waiting for the results uh, let us see 
I believe that everything should be in green let me bring it a little up so that everything is visible uh, here you see everything is in green so we are good to submit the code here yeah so this was it for this video it was relatively a very easy problem I will I would say if you have been enjoying this video please consider giving it a like subscribe to my channel and share with share it with your friends also I have started to come up with videos related to Python basics I will share the link of the Python basic playlist into the description you can go and watch it over there till then happy coding